Hello all, and welcome back to Kudeos Gaming. I am continuing my playthrough of Art Clash Legacy. In the last video, we made it through a set of puzzles and fights to get here, and if the transition text is anything to go by, we are close to the fight with Lakshai himself. Now here it appears that there are four uh, port locations, I'm guessing that that'll be four challenges of some sort that will then open up this fifth one. And the fifth one probably end up at Lakshai. Uh, looks like one, two... Yeah, I'm not sure where all of them will go, but uh, it does... Uh, whoop, hold on. It does appear that this is a enclosed area. So I'll just start... You know what? Let's start here and we'll go clockwise and then we won't cross over the fifth one. It'll just be consistent. Let's see where this ports us. Oof. This was already a battleground, apparently? Maybe? All right, what do we got? We've got one of these puzzles, again, plus that, but I'm guessing because of how much space there is, that there will be combat to get to the puzzle. So let's go find out if there's a fight waiting for us. If there's not, I'm actually going to be somewhat disappointed. Now, I'm hoping there's not a fight while I'm dealing with the puzzle. That would not be enjoyable. But I can... I wouldn't put it past them to have a fight after I figure the puzzle out. All right, so we need it to get from there to over there. We have again the portals. And it has to be going that way through the slash. Where is the other slash? That's a greater than... Hmm. There's the other slash. So the U is there. So if Wenderu goes and steps on this, which direction does that send the U? Sends it to the right. I'm guessing that if I adjust this one... Oh, oops. Is it really that simple? Do I just need to adjust that one? Apparently. that That's kind of disappointing that it was that simple. which I'd say almost guarantees that there's going to be a fight. So, Bolam, if you please, let's put you at the front of this little band and everybody can go this way. No. Huh. Well, this may be easier than I was expecting. I'm, I'm going to be kind of disappointed if that's the case, though. Took me back to the center. That one's now dead. This one's dead as well. So we'll go through this one. Hey, it's another face puzzle. Okay. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay. It looks like it hits this stuff and stops. So maybe it has to hit these to get this stuff to go away. In fact, I expect that if it hits these, one of the ones that's down will go up. And that's going to lower the door. Okay, well. Obviously, I have to get this one to turn. And then I'm guessing... Where's the face? The face is right there. I also have to get this one to turn, because that'll adjust it. Oh! That did not adjust it the direction I expected. All right, Lek, if you come over here, is that going to turn it that way? It always turns to the right, so no. That is not going to direct it that way. Wait. Directs it there, and it stops, and then a new one gets shot. Okay. So, that means that Nella actually needs to come up here. Come up here. And then... We need to shut that one off, because then that'll make it loop around and hit that thing. 
I am glad that it going off does not hit your people. That didn't... Okay, what was that? It bounced. And then because it bounced, because it passed through there, eventually the shock went up. Okay. So that means that one needs to be active to send it that way. That one needs to be active. Because that'll send it in that loop. Now the trouble's going to be it's going to hit that one and re... Ah, okay. So, let's see here. Windaroo, let's move you over. Because we're going to need to do another change. Actually, Windaroo, you're fine. Just do that. That'll bounce it. Send it there. Then the issue is that she needs to be there. Okay, that should do everything. It's interesting, because maybe that one where I thought it required that you have um, mid-event changes was not the case. That goes down, goes through, into the face. All right, that's a success. And odd that there's not going to be... I don't know, maybe the combat's the other two? Maybe there is no combat. I'm, I am I don't trust the game developers to do no combat, given that they have had stuff teleport in where a room was clear otherwise. But we'll see what happens. It's two of four, and I ought to save it just in case I do end up in combat and lose. And we will move on to this one. See where it leads. Hmm. Another door puzzle like this. Alright, well, Bolam. I guess. Hold on. Lek gets to stay here this time. And let's just have basically everybody spread out. Nella, you get to step first. What does this do? Closes that, opens that. Okay, Lek, go step on that one. What do you do? What's my goal, even? My goal's right there. Okay. That opened that, but didn't do anything else. So, Bolam, what happens if you step? Good, good. That lets her do that. Now, should I step on that one or go all the way through? Let's step on this one. That closed, but that still lets her come here. Black gets to come here. Am I trying to shut all of them off? Nope. I'm just trying to do that. I, I still don't understand how those work. I think it's just a matter of going through the doors that you need to until you hit the right switch. But I haven't identified something that says this is the right switch, because that one's still glowy. Eh, whatever. Back we go. Alright, one left. Let's see what it is. The others were two door puzzles, or, yeah, two face puzzles. This might be two door puzzles. Nope, a third face puzzle. Okay. Oh, bother. Okay, so we have to get it to come up to this or through this. Those are the two options. So it's going to be through this, down this way, down here, and through that. That's... Okay, but if they're alternating... Oh. Yeah, because if it hits here, it's going to stop. So, I actually need it to turn here, hit this, come over this way. I What I'd like, I'd, to get it onto this side, hmm, 
because this will reverse them. Oh, and when it reverses them, that one's going to go up. So it wouldn't be able to come this way anyway. So it's going to come up. If it hits that, it inverts them. But this is going to turn it to the right. So that means it will run into that. But then a new one will get spit. Okay, so when the new one gets spit, these are down. All right, this is interesting. So I'm going to turn some turn this one on just because I oops, do want to see what happens with this. I think I know what's coming, but I do want to see. All right, so those did reverse as expected. That's going to reverse it again, because that's just going to happen each time it goes through. Okay. So when that one's down, if I do this... Oops, sorry. Come on, Bolam. If I do this... Now the next one's going to come this way. But it's going to hit that, because I did it too late. Okay. So do it again. Oh, I see. No, I don't see. Why is it changing? Because it goes through there. What just happened? It hits it. Keeps going, and then it comes back. So... I thought it was a switch. It's not. So it's going to go, hit, turn, and break, and hit there. Okay. That's intriguing. Okay, that means whatever else may be the case, I have to actually do the transition there. No, no, no. Come back here. Well, lame, you can do it. Please hit that one and shut that one off. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if you shut that one off or not. Okay, that goes up. Hits there. That switches them. I gotta send it somewhere. So I send it there. That turns it that way. Where's Lek? Lek? Wait. Why did they stay down longer? Okay. That switches them. It flies through there. And then it stops. Because that's a longer switch, but I don't know why that's a longer switch. Because I need it traveling that way. Which would mean... Sending it this way. So if it looped here... And then went that way. But this is down... Oh, it's going back when the ball dies. That's what happening. That's what's happening. So it's not that it's short. Okay. So as long as the ball is up. We need to get moving. Time yeah. is gold. Yes, yes. So as long as the ball is up. So if I do that, it's going to bounce back over there and get to Bolam. That sends it down, it turns. Then it turns again and then this is no, it won't turn again. Okay. Huh. Goes through, she turns it. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna run through this manually. All right, goes out, turns right, switches them. Turns, turns, goes through. It's down now. It's gonna, can't go straight through because this is in the way. You turn it again, hits this and switches them, which means this is gonna go down.
Okay. That then comes this way, which is going to turn it to the right. These are going to be up, though, if it switches that again. So I can't afford that. What I can afford, though, is to turn this right, and then in the middle of all that, I need to turn this right. Because if this is the spot that turns, it'll come out, turn, switch. It'll be in the configuration it's in now. Come down here, hit, go this way, hit this one, turn. If it turns here, they're still down. It doesn't transition. Then comes this way, turns again, because it still hasn't transitioned comes up here. Now I need it to transition, so it'll run up this way, hit this one, so that one still needs to be on. Then I will have to shut this one off, and then it'll go there. Okay, so I'm going to have to juggle that spot. That shouldn't be too hard. All right, so we'll do that. Oops, didn't need Lek to move. Not that I think it's going to matter. Okay, so he's going to stand there. This is going to go here and die. That's fine. But it's going to go up, over, down, over. It'll switch as it does. It'll bounce to the right here. Bounce to the right there. This is going to bounce it. Oh, oops. So I need two. All right, so now I want to switch this one. I guess they can stand on them. It's no big deal. And then as soon as this... Did I do that wrong? Nope. I did not. Alright, hold on. This one can stand permanently. This one I need to switch back so it can go up there. Okay, goes where she is, turn that on, turn that off. No, I still want that on. And I need this on. I missed that, okay. I've got the general idea, I'm just, oop, forgot that Lek needed to shut that off. Okay, so now, pass, so now I turn it. It bounces, it bounces. Bolam, does that need to be off? No, because that's going to send it here. Now it needs to be off. That's going to bounce it. Turn right, turn right, switch, hit there, go through. Okay, yep. Took a little bit, but at least I was able to think through it for the most part. It wasn't trial and error like so many of the other puzzles have been. And now I have a hard time imagining that there isn't a fight, so I'm going to quick save it, because that was not terribly long, but... And no, no fight. Just so weird. Alright. Yay, teleport. And that should turn on the fifth one. And I don't know if the fifth one is going to lead us to Lakshai, or if it's going to lead us to another set of tests. So we'll see. Another set of tests, apparently. No, I'm still in the same... There we go. Just a port. Huh. Epilogue. A wheel sword's fate. All deaths must be paid in full, no matter how they are collected. An ounce of gold may equal a pound of flesh. A pound of gold may equal a soul. Once incurred, a debt must never be forgotten. And payment is sometimes more than one can afford. Volume 1 of the Book of Debts. How are we in the epilogue? I haven't finished. Okay, whatever. And there's Lakshai. Yep. 
You again. Not entirely unexpected, though wholly annoying. You were wrong, Lokshai. Oh? And how so? This machine wasn't built to control others' destinies and make you a god. <laughs> I assure you. They created this machine to break free of the gods and control their own destinies. Yes, yes, yes. It does not matter. With my own conjuring and the power of their mechanism, I will achieve my goal. Their intent is of little importance. But they do. You have perverted their knowledge. You stand for everything they despised. The denizens of this city wanted true freedom from money, man, and gods. And finally, flesh itself. And how would you know that? Because they have spoken to me. It's just taken me time to recognize the voices. It is not simple luck that we are here with you. Hmm. You will yield to my will, or you will die. There is no other option for you, Will Sword. Think and choose. You will meet your destiny, but on the end of our blades. Okay then. Alright, what's Lockshy capable of? He already starts with three buffs. Immunity. To control immunity against anti-magic and immunity against reduction. He does 1,000 bleeding damage for 20 seconds on his target. Just straight up. Uh, three second incantation. 800 physical damage on wheel swords within 10 meters. Three second incantation. Strike down his target inflicts 300 magic damage. If other wheel swords are within 6 meters, the effect propagates and inflicts 500 magic, then 700, then 900. So have to get everybody away from his target, which is, we've gotten used to. When he reaches certain hit point, hit point thresholds, Lakshai invokes, uh, invokes a crater for 40 seconds under the feet of each wheel sword. The crater is 1.5 meters wide, inflicts 100 magic damage per second. Uh, interesting. So, some skills are unknown. Immune against all control reduction and counter effects. Okay, so none of that's really surprising. <sighs> I mean, other than watching what he does and trying to react accordingly, I don't know that there's a whole lot I have to worry about. We'll certainly find out. It strikes me as being a lot like the um, fight with the big guy that did instant death stuff, but we'll see how this goes. As I sow, I reap. Okay, so he is now casting, creates a two meter zone under the feet of its target, 100 magic damage per second, all wheel swords inside the zone. So he's going to create it there, which means once it goes off, I need to move. There we go, her. Yeah. So that's not a problem. Okay, green of healing oh. is gonna go off and not be overly useful, frankly. Yeah. So this could just be a slow fight. This green of healing just went off. Now, during certain... Okay. I am a god. Not yet, you're not, dude. Okay, so now everybody has stuff under them, so let's have Lack move and shoot him. Let's have Nella move and shoot him. No, no. Move, then shoot, and let's have Bolam move and hit him again. Okay, Wenderu, you can move. What do we got? We got... Under the feet of the target. Who's his target this time? Is it Wenderu again? Looks like it. Let's get Wenderu out of the way. And then when that goes off, she can move again. It looks like it's possible that those spots are going to stay. They're not actually going to go away. Which is actually kind of frustrating. Okay, so now he's casting... Alright, 800 physical damage on wheel swords within 10 meters. So, 
I can move. I'm going to just send him on a movement thing. She's outside of it. So I'm going to have her cast this. He's outside of it too, so he can cast his channeled thing. Then Wenderu can move and then attack. Okay, now Bolam, you cannot charge, so I guess I'll just have you go walk up and hit him. Oop. Okay, move there, then hit him. Yeah, so he's forming new portals underneath people. I have to hope they go away, or I'm going to have to find some alternative strategy. Alright, Wenderu, there can be value in hitting a leech now. What are you doing? You're doing another incantation time. This time it's going to land on Lack. That's fine. Okay, Wenderu, step over here, please. Keep going. Lack. Let's wait until this goes off. Alright, now we can move Lack here. And have him attack. Okay. Waiting for him to perform some new action. He's attacking Lek, which is interesting. So, you can charge to try and. You defy your own destiny! Okay, so they are. Taking damage again. Nope. Cancel. Lek, move there. Then you can channel on him. Nella, move there. Then you can cast. Wenderu. Let's just go ahead and have you move up and attack. Lek, you didn't move. You were supposed to move. That's a problem. I must not have hit shift. Okay, Lek's gonna die if I don't do something here. Let's get him that. We'll steal some health from Bolam. Go back to attacking. Oh, what's coming? Under the feet of the target. The target is Bolam. Bolam. The cast is going off, so I need you to move over. Nope. Move over here and then attack. Okay, Lek. How long do you have that you're casting this? Because I really want you out of... There we go. Go ahead and attack now. Follow me! Bolam, can you charge yet? Your Just death. about. There we go. Bolam, go ahead and charge. Nella, let's get some damage going just in case. And let's get a seed going, because everybody's kind of damaged at the moment. I am kind of annoyed at how much damage Lek is taking. Apparently he's decided that Lek is the tank for now. Can Bolam taunt? Or is he immune to taunt? Oh! Nella is standing on something that's going to cause her to go down if I don't move her. Um, 13 seconds, though. Okay. Nella, can you get a shock off? Windaru, please steal some more health from Bolam. Or mana. There we go, you've got five seconds before you can heal, though. Lek, go ahead and move out and hit him again. Nella, yeah, you're probably toast, aren't you? Okay, let's move you way out. Actually, can you... You can't get any closer, it looks like. Especially not with that shot going off. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I need... Trouble is the leech grain's gonna go off soon. Wenderu, come over here. Okay. Zero seconds, good. Heal Lek again. Bolam. Uh, go ahead and stomp. It's damage, what the heck. Uh, okay, so now I need to be close for the leech. Your okay. Now, Wenderu, you might be able to get in 
do that. Lek, just keep attacking for now. Oh, Lamb. Charge again, please. It won't stop him, but... Oh! Lex having some trouble. Wenderu is not doing this very well. So let's go ahead and heal Lek. I heal your or miss the heal completely. That's bad. So she can oh, try and... I am not long get Lex down. Uh, yep, now he's on Wenderu. No, get out of the stuff. We now try and... Down. Dang it. Not again. Yep, I'm gonna lose. That's fine. Ah. Ah. Yep, I agree. Load last save. So. Okay. I'm not sure if grouping them together to make the area of effect smaller since they last is a better option. Very well, maybe. I may also want to take off Wenderu, which I me means I'd have to back up a bit, which is its own problem. Um, just because the leech seed isn't as useful. But we'll go ahead and get it started. Continue to attack, continue to attack, continue to attack. Okay, let's just see what happens. Okay, he's doing something to Bolan. What is he doing to Bolan? And why do I not see... Hold on. Okay, so when he reach hit point thresholds is when he does... And it's only 40 seconds. Okay. Okay, so I don't want them grouped up because this will do additional damage if they are. But they need to be six meters apart. Whoa. And unfortunately, I don't know what... Alright, this is the one that's going to do the zone damage. Whoa. So as soon as it goes off, Lek can move over here and start channeling. No, that's what I did last time. Lek can move over here and start channeling. There we go. So Nella then can go ahead and do that. Strike! I am a god! Mm, don't think so, fella. Okay, so he hit the spot where he creates those for 15 minutes, or 40 seconds. So now let's move Nella there and strike him again. Lex channeling. I'm going to have to interrupt the channel. I don't want to have to spend the mana on lack. The delayed damage is worth it. Oh. I do need Wenderu to move somewhere where she's over six meters away from everybody else. All right. So he's casting this zone under the feet of its target. Okay, so he hasn't used that other one that I've noticed, and that's going to go after Nella. That's fine. So I will have Nella move as soon as it goes off. There we go. So now Nella can move there, and then start attacking him afterwards. Alright, so now he's doing 800 physical damage within 10 meters. So I need him to come out. Lek to come out. And Lek, I can actually use his attack to get him out. Wenderu's fine, but Bolam needs to move. Alright, now Bolam can use charge to get back into the fray. Nella, I think, should have time to hit him with shock. Okay. So Bolam's got junk underneath him. He'll move and attack. Everybody else probably has it too, right? Yep. There's Lek gaining more of it. Here's Wenderu coming over here and attacking. 
Okay, Nella, come here and attack as well. Okay, and then Wenderu, you need to move again. I should have left her alone originally, but... Okay, so now the seed might be useful. I'm going to drop the seed on him. Then I'm going to steal health from Nella. Okay. Alive. Okay, so now we've got slow burn again targeting Wenderu. So that's not a problem. I can and let that go return. off. As soon as it's finished, there we go. Now we can move Wenderu up to that corner. She can attack. Serve me. Black does have this back now, so he can hit with that. I'm going to save charge for Bolam until he needs to be able to get back in quickly. Yeah, so it's slow, but it seems like not using abilities is probably the best way of accomplishing this at the moment, anyway. Okay, there's one under Lek, so I can move Lek. There's not quite... Yeah, there's one under her, so I can move her, have her shock, and the one under Wenderu hasn't appeared yet. There we go, so now I can move Wenderu. Wenderu's having hit point troubles, so I'm going to heal Wenderu with Nella, since now Nella has the mana. Lockshy's about to do something to Bolam, but I don't think I'm actually all that concerned about it. Heal friends wounds. There we go. Oh. So, she had something at... Hold on. Before she moves, play that order. No, no. Cancel. So she's just getting attacked. That's fine. Just let stuff keep going. Now he's going to do that again under Lakshai, or Lekloris. Wenderu, let's drop a seed on him and see if you can get healed by it. Um, what is planted grow? Alright, that goes off. Lek, let's move you there and have you hit him. Nella, can you please heal Wenderu again? And that takes 100 mana points. You have 200. I'm going to have you do that twice. Just because I don't know if I can trust the leech grain. Okay, there we go. So, now we just got to keep watching him. You defy your own destiny! Okay. So now we've got more of these. Um... Can I afford to move Bolam out? Can I afford not to, I guess, is another question. So, Bolam, you might be able to fit right there. Lek, let's have you come out and attack from there. Which means you're not going to get that leech grain, unfortunately. You now have one, so we can have you move there. And then attack. Wenderu. <laughs> Okay, Wenderu's kind of damaged. The leech seed went off, but it didn't do her any good. She was too far out. Okay, he's going to cast that. There. She can move again. So let's get that attack going. Nella can reheal Wenderu again, which isn't really how I want to be using Nella, but whatever. Um... And we'll just let this keep going. Your destiny. Oh. What did he just do? She's got a negative bleeding. Okay. We'll see how much the bleed matters. Seems like quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, so everybody's kind of low now. Hmm. Okay. Wenderu. Please heal Bolam. Nella. You've already got heals going off, so that's fine. I'll just keep... I heal your wounds. Okay. Now she's just bleeding. There's really nothing I can see that I can do about it. I mean, she's taking damage, yeah. obviously, but... Okay, is that because Bolam's standing in two of the things, or because... So let's move Bolam there. And see what happens after doing so. 
Um, so, okay. So actually, probably the best way to keep Bolam healed, since he's Malay, is the seed. She's doing okay. Black needs help. And then I'll heal him. As I sow, <laughs> I we are real. Yep, that worked well. Okay. <sighs> Nella's having problems, though. Alright, Lack, now that he's out of the way, you can cast that. Uh, you're gonna have... Yep, you're gonna have the zone up here. I can put him in the middle there, though. As soon as that goes off. There it goes, it's off. Move there. Give me while I hurt. Okay. Nella. Let's get some damage going. Twelve seconds, Bolam can survive that. It's not a problem. We'll just let everybody keep going at the moment. Wenderu's got two seconds before she can heal. Alright, so she can now heal Nella and then steal health from Bull Lamb since the late screen's got seven oh, seconds. Okay, everybody's got the spinny underneath them. Move Lack. Move Bull Lamb. Move Nella. Move Lenderu over here. And then Nella can actually zap him, hopefully. There was the leech crane, excellent. He's got two seconds before he can do that. I don't want to use his channel ability, unfortunately. Alright. He is again casting. Yep, 120 seconds. 100 magic damage. That's going to be on Bull Lamb. So I'm going to move Bull Lamb so that when this goes off, he can be somewhere where he'll eventually. There we go. Now Bull Lamb can come back. He's targeting Wenderu, so let's get a double heal going on Wenderu. And we'll just let everybody keep attacking. As long as she... I mean, she can tank just as well. Having two healers available is definitely a good thing. He's not doing a lot of damage individually. Okay, that's a problem. Olam now has too many locations with... I don't know that he can get anywhere where he can attack safely, but let's get Lek hmm, out. Yeah, let's get Lek out this way. Lenderu should. Yep, there we go. There's the one on Nella, so we can move her over there and have her attack. There's the one on Wenderu. Move her over there and have her attack. And what the heck? Let's have Lek channel since he's so low. And then I'm going to hope that Bolam can just tank through the damage. And Wenderu can drop a seed to hopefully help with that. Wait, hold on. First move, then drop the seed. All right, here we go. Oh. Multi-phase. Look inside yourself and see our fates were meant to be. Entwined. <laughs> so many voices. Nella, no. What further devilry is this? Steal yourselves, wheel swords. Do not fear me. I see the tapestry of life before me. The machine was designed to set man free from the chains of destiny, as it did the inhabitants of this city. Nella? I do not... Lokshai would have perverted it, to enslave the minds of the races of Arklash. If he'd succeeded, he would have become a god, and nations would have bowed before him. I cannot allow the chance that others will follow in his footsteps. No one deserves to hold such power. We must away. But Nella, I cannot leave her. We must. Do you think she would sacrifice herself for us to perish? She has found her destiny. Ours awaits us still. 
Come, before it is too late. Honey! The whole city is collapsing! That laughter is not encouraging. I... I am goddess. Yeah. That's the end? Huh. Okay. See, the concern I have is, if the machine was built to prevent the gods from messing with people so that people would have free will, then wouldn't destroying the machine allow the gods to do whatever it is they were being prevented from doing? It doesn't say that it killed the gods. It just says that it limited them. And I also didn't kill Lakshai. He still had health before he went away. So did he sacrifice himself in a sense to finally and fully collect corrupt Nella? And then Nella used the fear of destroying the city to chase off the rest of the wheel swords. It's I, I had not expected the ending to end to be a cliffhanger. I'd expected it to have you know straightforward resolution, but resolution anyway. And so the notion of just kind of ending on a what's actually going on is really interesting. Hmm. Now, I do know that there is an additional difficulty, and I suppose, strictly speaking, it's possible that the, um, the story, like, continues or changes in the additional difficulty. It would be interesting if they didn't give you access to Nella in the new difficulty, but I doubt that's going to be the case. Um, hmm. Hope you don't mind me talking over the credits, but I don't want to skip them, per se, because... They're nice to have there. And... Oh, hey, system administrator. Cool. HR. Always good to credit your HR people. I mean, it's actually, in, quite seriously, it is nice that they are um, crediting the business components uh, as well as those who are directly involved in the production of the game. Uh, I don't know. Like, I haven't watched movie. Uh, credits very closely, so I'm not sure. Maybe they do credit people like HR in, say, Universal Pictures or whatever. I'm guessing not. Oh, hey. For their great and precious feedback. I wonder who Hamster is, because that's quite an interesting name to use. Secret game. Wait, what's going on? Uh. Can I shoot back? Mouse doesn't do anything. I can move with WSAD, but spacebar doesn't shoot and spacebar paused. I'm trying to remember what my other E and F doesn't do and control doesn't do anything. Yeah, mouse doesn't. Am I just... This seems weird. Like, I feel like there should be the ability to shoot back, but it could just be a dodging-based game. I mean... Those aren't unheard of. Click on me, click on one of them. Nope. No shooting. Uh, why is this here? I mean, there was an achievement for finding it, but... Oh, wow, you can go off screen. That's disconcerting. Okay, my mouse is distracting me. I, I don't understand what this is supposed to do. Alt doesn't shoot. Is there just... Why? Why is game? Especially since it's so slow, is it just going to get faster over time? There's huge gaps of space. I'm... What, what did they... Why did they... What on earth? See, I don't want to hit anything, but... Nope. Zero, zero? What? Is 
zero zero again. So I'm not actually nothing. Nothing's happening from getting hit. What? They have to assume you're attacking. So zero is my current score. Zero is my high score. Which means there's got to be something where they're expecting you to attack. But I'm not... Okay, you know what? Skip it. What happens if I say continue? It puts me back in the epilogue. So it's just going to put me back in the last save? Yeah, it just puts me back in the last save. That's... I'm... I'm really confused. Um, so you can new game, load game. If I say new game, I can now say... Agonizing units take more time. I... Yeah, alright. That's fine. So that was weird. I, it, it is not what I was expecting from the end. Um, I don't know if that's because I did something wrong and there are multiple endings. I'll have to go look that up. But that is apparently going to be the end of the Arclash Legacy series, unless I find out that there's something more to do. So, yeah. Thanks all. Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe by clicking the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. If you are interested in videos on other games or topics, you can click on the channel name below the video to visit the Kraos Gaming channel page. Thanks all.